Hi, and welcome back to Best Drink Recipes. I'm Eli Mountjoy, and now we are going to make for you a variation on a classic cocktail called the Little Sicily. Now, in the Little Sicily, ordinarily what's used is a rye whiskey and chinar for its Amaro and sweet vermouth. Now, we're going to change it up because we're using the exceptional balsam, American Amaro, and we're going to use a Kentucky-based bourbon, which is a little sweeter. And we're gonna do that because the balsam is already so potent and so full of allspice and clove, kind of. And we're going to offset that by the Punta Mess, which is a little, a little more spicy than, say, the um, Carpano Antica, which is also made by the same company. But the Punta Mess, which means, of course, of course in Italian, point and a half, point of sweet, half of bitter, should even out to make this beautiful little cocktail here. So we're gonna use half an ounce of the balsam, one and a half of our Buffalo Trace, and we're gonna use a full ounce of our Punta Mess. We're gonna mix that in our Japanese mixing beaker here. So first, let us add half an ounce of our American Amaro balsam. Followed by an ounce and a half of our bourbon. And lastly, an ounce of the Punta Mess. Great. Now, let's get a little ice. And we can dilute and chill this cocktail. Now, we've done this in previous cocktails, but I'm going to explain it one more time. You can use this whole cube, such as we have, and just stir it. And this is the best way to do it if you're, if you're unfamiliar or haven't stirred a lot of cocktails, because you want to evenly bring down the dilution and the chill factor until it's blossom point. It's easiest to do this with less surface area. If you're bartending for a bunch of people and you need to get there more quickly, or say you're doing a tutorial for YouTube, such as we are, we're going to give this a crack because it will increase the surface area that we use on our spirit and liquor and thereby more quickly diluting and chilling it. But you gotta be careful because you can't go back once you get there. So with the back end of our stirring spoon, I'm gonna give it a little crack here. One more just to break it up a little more. Perfect. One here. And begin the stirring. Already this has got a nice amber hue to it. I really can't wait to try this one. And with every stirred cocktail, you're gonna to wanna to try this as you go, using a straw. Just so you don't cross the fence that you can't come back to. Because you can never come back after you dilute. Let's try this. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a good one. But we need to dilute further. And I can tell that because it still has quite a bit of, not just bark, but bite. I can feel it on the side of my tongue, and that's the alcohol. And what we're really doing is bringing the water down so that it reaches that blossom point to where when you drink it, you still get all the aromas and all the flavors and even the bitterness, but you don't get that grab on your tongue. I can feel that this is getting really nice and watery. So let's try it again. That's the one. Now, why don't we use our julep strainer? We're gonna put it into our little tiny martini glass here. How cute is that? Beautiful, look at that, right to the top. We're going to use our orange, and we're going to fully express all of these essential oils. So we'll just let it cascade down. Then we're going to rim it here, the stem and the foot, and there you have our variation on the Little Sicily using the balsam. Now, if you'd like to see the review that we did with the balsam, you can find that right here. Or if you'd like to see another cocktail that we made using the balsam, you can find that right up here. And while you're considering that, I'll be indulging in this.
Yes, is what I have to say to that. Go out, get some, make this, and make it hastily. This is incredible. This is incredible right here. It makes me want to do the Hulk flex. It's so good. So yes, the balsam review that we did right there. Or another cocktail, right up there. And if you guys would like to subscribe to us, we would appreciate it and we would love to hear from you. Write to us what you think. If you want to see us make a couple of things or if you've got questions for us, we will answer you back. And thank you for watching. I'm Eli Mountjoy. This is Best Drink Recipes. We will see you next drink.